pieces of stone glass and now we want to create a droplet it separately so you can use um, sphere and add some deformers like bulge or tapper okay i think bulge is better now okay put it on sidebar sphere and increase the height and strength of the bulge and move it to side little bit so you can create the different types of droplets like this Okay, create another sphere and we are making different types ropes and now we are using tapper. Okay. Fit it to parent, increase the strength. different types of drops now turn off um, deform is in under viewport okay, we want only show drops because okay now create a cloner and put it on the sub one cloner and change the cloner mode to object and object as our glass define so you can see the drops cloning upon the object so we want look like we don't want to look like this so change the cloner distribution to surface okay then add other drop to cloner then increase the count We now we want it to look like um, realism. Add a random effector, and we don't want randomizing pos uh, in position like X. And the random is in scaling different types and scaling of different types of drop and random is 
Now you can enter uh, an object and a class material and water material. We now create droplets with the basic tools. This like cloner and spear and deformers. Now we are create droplets using X particle. So create a glass model and X particle system and add a base set up in X particle object. So you can see lot of X particle systems, X particle modifiers, lifters, groups, generators. Okay. So you want to um, create droplets like animator so this is emitters you can create particles emitting from and modifiers you can use gravity some like something like gravity and attractor okay so, so first we go to emitters let me show how it's working in this. Let's hide the glass in emitters. So, this is our emitter. The basic default emitter is rectangle. If you play, let's apply, let's apply button, you can see the rectangle emitting particles. So, we don't want emitting particles from rectangles. We want to part and emit particles from, from our body. So, change the mode to object and Define our glass object in X particle emitters, and also we want in okay. Now our glass emitting particles, so you can I think you can see the particles. Let me show type in that particle. Okay, you can now see the particle. So, it's a grow block. The particle emitting inside to glass. So, we don't want emitting particles from inside. So, we want using selection mode. So, select the glass type, the outside of glass, uh, or which part you want to create uh, emit particle. So, select that part and it's Set the selection. Okay, now go to emitter and define the set selection to emitter section. Okay, now okay, our form is solved. Now only emitting particle to outside. Now emit from polygon area look like really from okay now we don't want emitting in all frame just emit one frame so it's a lot of method emission model first of all a pulse it's emitting in um, it's like pulse in interval it's interval Emitting, stop, emitting, stop. Okay, next rate is we want using rate mode and we don't want emitting all frame, just emitting one frame. So set the start from zero and end frame one. Okay, it's so only emitting in one frame. Okay, and then the next form is um, emitting one frame but it's going to outside. So we stop our speed of particles. So set the speed to zero.
yes our particles basically okay now we want add in this particle to mesh it's this particle okay we want to add some mesh around the particle so go to system and generate objects add a skinner so we can use we can see one gen under this generator okay and we can control to increase the particles amount and uh, change the birth rate to uh, the birth rate it's too much don't worry um, so we, we don't want like this much better droplets so go to skinner and increase decrease the polygon size yes okay there is the polygon size in and render polygon size so make the same numbers and custom radius change to 5 so 2 1 we want to increase the polygon size yes i think what is better good so our basics X particle uh, I think still particles is okay now we want to create something um, in animate particles so just copy the emitter and in the um, you can rename this particle name to down and above particle name to still I think it's better to understand and go to emitter and decrease the birth rate so we don't want so many particles animated only few particles You know you play you can see two particles once you already created still particles stand to skin the down particle I mean animated particle you can see the green dots Okay. Now green color is our uh, we want to animate a particle so go to modify and you can use so many modifiers like gravity attractor and now we are using polar fly we want to um, particle like follow in one following spline and we want to define a spline so we don't want any spline in here so we create a spline from this glass model you can create spine from this glass model go to edge mode and select all edges okay. I think 
Outside of collect the old edges of outside. And press the shift to see and it it is plain. Now you can see uh, under the glass model, glass plain. If you hide the glass mesh. You can see the glass plane. So this is the method to create edge spline from a model. So we don't want to see edges in our viewport. So hide it in render and viewport and go to swallow spline and depend on our glass plane. And we don't want to um, in follows plane in all particles only down particles okay now we create a, a group on particles so you can see some group menu and define this the same name to down and for put a follow plane modifier and group affected So only affected down particle to follow spine. And you can you can see okay. There is a particle direction. Change it to minus uh, y minus axis so oh, this is our animated particles this is not animated go to emission tab and increase the speed of our particles you can see it's animated to downside to object in the polygon direction so minus y okay mm, it's okay for now and go to skinner and define our down particle to skinner source now you can see both particles in here one particle is still and another particle is animated
let me show how it's work Uh, we add both particles and I mean still and down particle to one skinner so it's like just like um, meta board in our C4D me show how it's work uh, we created two spheres and add it to metabo so you can see press the mini decrease the subdivision so if you animated one sphere This is the basics of mm, our X particle animated properly. So you can use so many mm, deformers to to become realism. So go to modifier and add gravity and only affected to down particle so group affected define and if you apply this oh there's a problem it's come to particles come to our outside no, sorry inside so add a glass and add a relation tag to glass and our floor and change the bounds to zero I think gravity strength is too much high so just to decrease the strength of gravity So our particle is okay. Now we want create a glass material. Sorry, water material to our uh, droplets. So create a new material and turn off the color channel and add transparency and increase the refraction amount around 1.4 and just to delete the basic reflection specular and add a new batman so we don't add any frontal okay so add to our skinner if you render if you render it you can see our animated particle look like Much realism.
so finally our render is completed now i think it's in a bit less more realism if you am rendering in old frame you can get the animated droplets okay hope you enjoy thanks for watching